Good afternoon, people. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening, Good evening teacher. teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Okay. Okay, people, let's get started this evening with the first attendance. Please turn on your cameras and respond. You hear your name, okay? Abner Adoni Molina. Abner Adoni Molina. Please people respond. Ana Elizabeth Melendez. Brian Aldair Figueroa. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Enrique Rivas. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Elias. Present teacher. Okay. Irma Noemi Martinez. Present teacher. Okay, Jose Francisco Beltrán. Present teacher. Carla okay. Milena López. Milena. Here. Kevin Eduardo Santos. Present teacher. Lady Jolivet Cruz. Present teacher. Maria Epifania Castro. Present teacher. Mariela Andrea Carranza. Marta Marisol Castillo. Present teacher. Mauricio Antonio Ruano. Present teacher. Mónica María Pérez. Present. Eh, Oscar Humberto Argueta. Present teacher. Carlos Alonso López. Raúl Mauricio Ramírez. Present teacher. Okay, Raúl. Ten minutes are for you tonight. Ok, teacher. Sandra Yamilet Escobar. Present teacher. Okay. Teresa Noemi Ángel. Present teacher. Vilma de Los Ángeles Escobar. William Giovanni Laínez. Present.
Okay. Okay, let's start with last class we finished talking about the uh, wool like or wool like two. Remember, we use would like to plus a noun, right? To plus a noun, no, I mean would like plus a noun and would like to plus a verb, okay? Like noun, like to plus a verb. Um, he would like a cup of tea. A cup of tea is not a verb. It is noun. Yes. He would like to drink tea. Drink tea is a it is a verb. Drink. Yeah. The difference between would like and would like to. And we use this to, to state references. or to offer, we use these two. They can offer. Okay. Yes. Eight. All those are some of the uses of it. You make an offer, make a request, you uh, talk about your preference or something. Okay. That is the uses of who like and who like to. So, I would like a cup of tea. You would like a cup of tea. He would like a cup of tea. We would like a cup of tea. They would like a cup of tea. I would like to drink tea. He would like to drink tea. They would like to drink tea. The question with the affirmative form. Remember that I mentioned the contractions. 
hide. Hide. I would. You. You would. Here. He would. Here. She would. Here. Would. They. They would. Did. It would. Okay, that is the function. Then we have the negative form where we only have not. Would, wouldn't is the contraction for would not. Would not or wouldn't. I wouldn't like a cup of tea. No quisiera un café. You wouldn't like tea. Uh, she wouldn't like a cup of tea. We wouldn't like tea. Same thing. Wouldn't like with a noun. Wouldn't like to with a verb. You wouldn't like to drink tea. We wouldn't like to drink tea. They wouldn't like to drink tea. Question? Okay, then we have the question form of the interrogative sentences. Interrogative sentence begin with would. Next is the subject. Would I like a cup of tea? Would you like a cup of tea? Quieres tu gustaría cup of tea? And like to with a verb. Who we like to drink tea? Would you like to drink tea? They like to drink tea. This is a yes, no question. So the answer is, uh, we, we respond with short answers. Yes, I would. Yes, you would. Yes, she would. Yes, we would. The negative answer, no, I wouldn't. No, they wouldn't. No, we wouldn't. No, she wouldn't. It's... Then observe this. Okay, let's take a look to the grammar notes. I would like a cup of tea is more polite, is a more polite way to say I want a cup of tea. Es más educado, más amable decir, I would like. Es solo decir, I want. Okay. I would like a cup of tea is often contracted. Frecuencia se aparece 
I. I'd like a cup of tea. The affirmative contraction uh, set responses. They are never contract. No se hace nunca contracción. Only in the negative. In response to an offer, a responder a una oferta, si te dicen, would you like a cup of tea? Es mejor decir, no, thank you, que decir, no, I wouldn't. And no, thank you. Es más solucionado que decir, no, I wouldn't. Okay? Any question here? No question. Okay. Okay. So well, let me give you something to Okay, you have to complete these sentences. Okay. With the correct form. Okay, I already shared this picture in WhatsApp, so please complete the sentences correctly, okay? When you finish, please raise your hand.
I will send you to working groups on that exercise. So please join your groups and, and help each other, okay? Work together. To complete the sentences.
Yo creo que no, que eso no falta el tú. Hola. Good, you. No sé si aquí va el tú. Like. No, porque no es. Porque como le lleva la A. a no lleva ah, okay. un, 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 este, una acción, ¿verdad? Un verbo. Uh -huh. Would you like a verb? Yes. Abre. Yes, we, we like. We want. You, oh, you. Oh, yes, we. Quiero ver. No, pero que ahí. Finish people? No. 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 I. Teacher. Teacher. Yes. Eh, mire, fíjese que tenemos una duda. Este, cuando se, se contesta yes, we will o no, we will no, not. No, we no se not. le pone like. Ah, no se le pone like nunca o si sí es opción. No es necesario, eso es raro. Ya, yeah, no es necesario. Okay. Ah, va. Okay, Pero gracias. tampoco afecta. Ajá, tampoco afecta si se lo agregamos, ¿verdad? Eh, no se usa. Eso es como um, cuando te preguntan, do you want, uh, or do you need a, or do you need a computer? Y eso lo responde, yes, I do. Ah, no okay. Decir, yes, I do need. Ah, okay. Short. Como respuestas cortas. Ah, pues sí, vaya, pues tenía razón. Mónica, Mónica, es ¿eh? verdad. Sí, pero William nos estaba enseñando esa clase. Sí, <ríe> Gracias. Nosotras estábamos disistentes. Sí, sí. <ríe> Vaya, entonces vamos con las seis. Sí. Solo voy yeah. a cambiar la, la. Yes, I will. Ah, no. En esta última. No sé qué me dicen ustedes, porque para mí aquí tendría que decir yes, we will, y le falta el, le falta el yes, yes, we will, ¿verdad? We will. No sé qué opina. Um, oh, it's a song candy.
Okay. Ana Elizabeth, can you give me number two? Eh, no sé si la entendí bien porque ya entré tarde a la clase, pero yo así la he hecho. Así la hice, no sé. Would you like a break? Yes, we won. Okay. Yes, All right. Good. Brian, you complete number three, please. Uh, okay. I don't understand this. I would like to some help with my homework. Like what no. do you think, people? No, de la otra. What I want con la forma de contracción. No lleva el tú. Like to? Sí. Solo like, would you like? Yes, I like. Like or I would like. Not to. This is not a verb. Um. Okay. I like some help. Okay, Carlos Enrique, number four. Patrick, like to go to the supermarket. Patrick, like to? Yes. Falta, people. Would like to. Would like to. Would like to. Irma, number five. Um, world tour. Tom? I say, world tour, like to. Like to. Uh, Tom, uh -huh. yes, he, he will. Yes, he would. Okay, good. Jose Francisco, can I help you? Francisco? Este, eh, Wall Boy teacher. Mm -hmm. Wall Boy, eh, sería, can I help you? Yes, I Wall Boy. Oh. Like, I go like. Yes, I go like. I quiere decir, I would like to buy. Yeah. Estamos usando buy. I would like a ticket to Melbourne. Kevin, my friend, number seven. Would like to come to the party next week. Maybe number eight. Would, would, would you like? Work on Saturday. Saturday. Would you like? Oh. Mm -hmm. Two. You like to. Two, two, two. To work. 
on Saturday. No, I would like. I want. I would. No, I would not. <laughs> Number nine, Mary. Uh, would you like a chocolate? Okay. Would you like chocolate ice cream or vanilla ice? Yes. Yeah. Okay, Sandra, number 10. Ahorita. Es... Igual, you like? Um, see a movie? No, I won't. You like see a movie? To see. To see a movie. To see. Elma, number 11. What would you like to do tomorrow? What would you like to do tomorrow? And 12, William. Who would like some candy? We won. We would. Okay, very good. I'm going to read the sentences and record them in WhatsApp for you. Teacher, solo una pregunta. Ajá. En la número 12 no tiene que ir un, un pronombre, porque con la estructura que enseñó usted, ¿verdad? Ah. No, porque eh, eso es lo que estamos preguntando. ¿Quién? Ok. Cuando la pregunta es quién, la respuesta es. es we would. Y yo creo que igual a mí lo que me confundió quizás como a Carlos es que como no está el no, we would. O el yes, we would. No sé si Exacto. Por eso. Mónica tiene razón porque tendría que decir yes antes de we. No, porque no le están preguntando si quiere. Ajá. Está preguntando quién quisiera. Lo que pasa es que también es una respuesta corta y es concreta. Sí, pero esto no se responde. No es una yes, no question. This is an information question. Who would like some kind? ¿Quién es? Ah, ok. ¿Quién quisiera? Algo de dulce. Sí, ahora sí me quedó claro. Gracias. Sí, no podemos responder yes. No, sino que la información que nos está pidiendo. ¿Quién? Como esta, por ejemplo. What would you like to do tomorrow? 
no podemos decir yes, I would or no, I wouldn't. Yo quisiera inventar una respuesta para esto. No contesto con yes o no. Ustedes me están preguntando qué me gustaría hacer mañana. What would you like to do tomorrow? Never I would like to go to beach. No es un yes, I would. Teacher, entonces no. para entender en la 12, como dice son candy, porque en la 11 dice what would you? Y en la 12 es would, would like. Entonces, quizá ahí tiene la confusión por lo del pronombre. La confusión está en cuál es la palabra de pregunta. Si te preguntan what, no te están preguntando por un sujeto. ¿Ah? Pero si te preguntan who, quién, el sujeto no, no puede estar en la pregunta. Que tiene que estar en la respuesta. Click. Ok. Ok. Ahí estaba un cierta de confusión. Pero sí ya. Uh -huh. Where would you like to go? Por ejemplo. ¿Dónde te gustaría ir? ¿Qué te gustaría comer? What would you like to eat? Diferente a que yo pregunte. ¿Quién quisiera comer pizza? Es no estoy no hay ningún sujeto en la pregunta. No está okay. en la respuesta. Sí, eso no lo había notado. Gracias, Ticha. Okay. okay. ¿Any other question? No, grabar lo digo acá. Teacher. A mí me gustaría que, por favor, nos ayude con la pronunciación del wo, pero negativo contractado, porque yo no lo puedo decir. Gracias. Ok, ahorita se lo grabo acá y, y luego. One, I'm thirsty. I would like a glass of water, please. Two, would you like a break? Yes, we would. Three. I don't understand this. I like some help with my homework. Four, Patrick would like to go to the supermarket. He needs milk. Five, would Tom like to come with us? Yes, he would. Six, can I help you? Yes, I would like a ticket to Melbourne. Seven, My friends would like to come to the party next week. Eight. Would you like to work on Saturday? No, I wouldn't. Nine. Would you like chocolate ice cream or vanilla ice cream? Ten. Would you like to see a movie? No, I wouldn't. Eleven. What would you like to do tomorrow? I would like to go to the beach. Well, who would like some candy? We would. Okay. Now. Vean, es una W bien suave. Would. No would. es good. No, would. A L no suena. Would. Would. Ok. Ni la O incluso lo pueden enviar. Sí, solo would. Madera, más o menos. Es la palabra. Entonces, would. Y acá es como una sílaba extra. El wouldn't. Wouldn't. 
wouldn't. Okay. Would. Would. Wouldn't. Wouldn't. Ahí está el primer sonido bien suave. Would. Would. Wouldn't. Wouldn't. Okay. Let's practice the pronunciation of this sentence. Repeat after me. I'm thirsty. I would like a glass of water, please. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. I would like a glass of water, please. Glass of water, please. Two. Would you like a break? Yes, we would. Would you like? Oh, would you like a bread? A bread? Yes, we would. 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 Uh, I don't understand this. I like some help with my homework. Don't understand this. I don't understand something. This. I, I like some help, some help with my homework. Podemos decir I would like, ok? Bien. Four. Patrick would like to go to the supermarket. He needs milk. Patrick, Patrick would like, like to go like to, to the supermarket. Would Tom like to come with us? Yes, he would. Don't like to come wise. Yes, he would. Can I help you? Yes, I would like a ticket to Melbourne. Can I help you? Yes, I would like to get to Melbourne. Melbourne. My friends would like to come to the party next week. My friends would friend like, like to like come, come to the party next week. next week. Would you like to work on Saturday? No, I wouldn't. Would, would you like you to like work on Saturday? Saturday? No, no, I wouldn't. I would. I would. For. Would you like chocolate ice cream or vanilla ice cream? Would you like chocolate ice cream or vanilla ice cream? Would you like to see a movie? No, I wouldn't. Would you like, would you like, to, like to see a movie? movie? No, no, I wouldn't. Would. What would you like to do tomorrow? One who would like some candy? We would. Who would like some candy? We would. We would. We would. We would. Okay, I already shared a link here in WhatsApp and here in Zoom. Okay. 
Friends. Friends. Um, oh. Give me a second. Yes. Okay, is this it's simple? Tienen que escoger would like or would like to. Okay. Would like versus would like to. And when you finish, please raise your hand.
answer. Any question with the exercise, people? Okay, number one, A or B, people? Oh. B. 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 Two, A or B? B. B. Three, A or B? A. 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 Or B B I A A X B B seven A A A A B B B Nine. Eight. Eight. Ten. Eight. 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 Eleven. B. B. Twelve. B. 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 Thirteen. B. B. Fourteen. B. B. Fifteen, B, B, and sixteen, B, B, seventeen, A, A, eighteen, A, 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 yeah, perfect. Okay. Well, here you have to write some requests at your workplace. Some request uh, at your workplace. Something I would like to have. Air conditioner of me. I headset. Uh, I wouldn't I I I to
Portuguese. Now, for example, cosas que le gustaría en su trabajo. Yeah. Write four sentences about things you would like to have in your workplace. I would like to have an air conditioner. I would like a new headset. I wouldn't like to work on Sundays. I would like to teach Portuguese. That's me. Okay, so write sentences about you, please. ¿Qué le gustaría en su trabajo? Teacher, hola. Eh, ¿Puedo tomar como ejemplo una maquinaria o tienen que ser actividades? Cualquiera. No, está bien. Ok, gracias. Tienen que escribir por lo menos cuatro. Ok, gracias.
Okay, you can you can write your sentences in the chat, please. Writing some actions here.
Okay. Okay. Okay, people, hey, come on, too many cameras off. Turn on your cameras, please. Okay, uh, what would you like? What would you like, Anna and Elizabeth? Tell us, what yes, would you like? Yes, yes, only one. Or five. Oh. Um, I would like a board from my house. I I would like I would like to start to board at nine a.m. Okay. Okay. Good. Remember, I would like to, I would like to work, I would like to start, I would like to. Okay, okay, what about you, Vilma? What would you like? I would like to work home office. Um, I would like a rest half morning. Okay. Mary, what would you like? I would like uh, my boss to speak English. And I would like to work from 7 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Okay. William, what would you like? I would like to work less or I would like to have a coffee machine. <laughs> okay. Carlos Enrique, what would you like? I would like to have a faster computer. I would like to teach English. English. Okay, great. Mr. Francisco, what would you like? Uh, would you like to repair the machine today? I would like to go to the sport now. Okay. Oscar, what would you like? Mauro. I would like, I would like to travel. Uh, I would like to teach, to learn English. Uh, I would like to eat exotic food. Okay. Mauricio, what would you like? Okay. I would like to say real now. I would like to drink coffee. Carlos Antonio, what would you like? Like to win the lottery. I would like to go to sleep early. Okay, okay. next week, next week. Uh, Levi, what would you like? I would like to have lunch on time. I would like to work less in the office. Okay. Result, what would you like? I would like to go for a room. 
I would like to go to the beach. I would like to go out dancing. I would like to go to the gym. Okay. What about you, Brian? What would you like? I would like to have a bigger office. Uh, I would like a new computer. Okay. Monica, what would you like? I would like to travel to the beach, my family, and I would like to walk with my pets. Uh, Carmen, Gary, what would you like? Uh, Kevin, what would you like? I would like to go to business trip. I would like to have a new laptop. I would like to practice English at work. Okay. Good. Good. Sandra? Okay. I would like to study English Corporativo. I would like to go to the supermarket. I would like to listen to give lines of my boss. I would like to write emails in my work. Okay. Irma, what would you like? Uh, I would like a new chair. Uh, I would like to go to the beach. Okay, Teresa. Teresa Naomi, are you there? Anders is working. Bella too. Okay, people. Well, this we finished talking about the light, but we have an article here about printers. Let me read the article and record it for you. You can practice the pronunciation. There is a reading here about printers. Printer qualities and answer, there are some questions. Yeah, now let me read it and record it. For you. Here. Printer qualities. Color. Color is important for users who need to print pages for presentations or maps and other pages where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink cartridges, one color and one black ink, that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find the black and white printer cheaper to operate. Resolution. Printer resolution. The sharpness of the text and images on paper is usually measured in dots per inch, DPI. Most inexpensive printers provide sufficient resolution for most purposes at 600 DPI. B. If you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. Inexpensive printers print only about three to six sheets per minute. Color printing is slower. More expensive printers are much faster. Memory. 
most readers come with a small amount of memory, for example, one megabyte, that can be expanded by use. Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when printing out pages with largest images or tables with lines around them, which the printer treats as a large image. Question. Why is color important for some users? What does DPI stand for? Why are color printers more expensive? What is something important for someone who prints a lot? What is the amount of memory that most printers come with? Okay, there you have the audio about this reading. This reading is about printer quality. We mentioned three different um, aspects, color, resolution, speed, and memory. So these are four aspects to co consider when you are getting a printer. Well, we don't have time to complete this today. We are going to read it again tomorrow and we'll work on these questions, okay? Respond the questions according to the article. Not your personal opinion, but the information in the article, okay? Well, let's stop here. I'm going to take the second attendance of the Abner Adoni Molina. Ana Elizabeth Melendez. Present teacher. Okay. Brian Aldair Figueroa. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Elias. Present teacher. Carlos Enrique Rivas. Present teacher. Carmen Merari Ríos. Irma Noemi Martínez. Present teacher. José Francisco Beltrán. Present teacher. Carla Milena López. Kevin Eduardo Santos. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Baby Yolibet Cruz. Present teacher. Good night. Maria Epifania Castro. Present teacher. Good night. Mariela Andrea Carranza. Present teacher. Marta Marisol Castillo. Present. Mauricio Antonio Ruano. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Monica Maria Perez. Present, good night. Okay. Oscar Humberto Argueta. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Raúl Mauricio Ramírez. Ricardo Alonso López. Sandra Yamilet Escobar. Present teacher, good night. Teacher, present, good night.
Ok. Teresa Noemi Ángel. Teresa. Vilma de Los Ángeles Escobar. Present teacher. Good night. And William Giovanni Present. Okay, people, that's all for today. Have a good night and see you, see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Bye bye. Hello, oh, Raúl, are you there? Hello, teacher. Hi. Bueno, estos minutos son para resolver su solicitud, si es que hay. Ok, sí, este, está ahorita pues está más atrasado con, con el tema de trabajo ahí. Por eso no he estado poniendo mucha atención, no he participado mucho, pero este, con el Wood Light, por ahí no me quedó muy claro. La verdad de que no, como le digo, no he estado poniendo mucha atención, pero mañana voy a ver el, el video para, para memorizarme un poquito más esa parte. Ahorita tienes chance de que lo hablemos. Sí, sí, sí. Okay. Ok, la diferencia entre would like y would like to. ¿A eso, ¿A eso te refieres? Exactamente eso. Okay. Usamos would like. Would like. Okay. Con cuando... Estamos hablando de un sustantivo, de algo, de un objeto. No, solo would like, pues now. Por ejemplo, he would like a cup of tea. Cup of tea. Ahí ocupamos would like. Would like. Esto es solamente un... Un sustantivo, estamos hablando de algo. Ok. Ah, a él le gustaría una taza de té. He would like a cup of tea. No hay aquí verbo. ¿eh? No hay ningún verbo. Ok. En cambio, would like to. Hablando de una acción. Hay tú más verbo. We would like to drink tea. A él le gustaría tomar té, beber té. To drink. 
we will write a drink. To drink. Ahí está el verbo antes. Exacto, ahí estamos hablando de una acción. Uh -huh. es básicamente. Me gustaría uh -huh. una taza de té. A mí me gustaría un televisor. A mí me gustaría una casa. A mí me gustaría un nuevo trabajo. Ahora, si yo digo, a mí me gustaría comprar una casa. I would like to buy a house. Uh -huh. Y es donde usamos el tú. Porque el verbo se usa en, en esa forma. To buy, to drink, to eat, to go. En esa parte utilizamos el would like to. Yes, yes. Cuando hablamos de alguna acción, en cambio el would like es alguna cosa, algún objeto. Uh -huh. Esa sería la diferencia. Okay. Y, y, este, y en la parte de abajo es lo mismo. ¿No? Sí. Esta es la estructura de preguntas. Ah, ok. ¿No? Primero usamos el would. Después el sujeto. Si estamos hablando de una cosa, would like. Like, only like. Like, acá nos pide. Hablando de acción like to okay. es igual, ¿no? like para cosas like to para ok teacher. hoy si sí ya me queda un poco más claro eso pero de igual manera mañana voy a voy a repasar viendo el, el video de la clase Perfecto. ¿Cómo vas con la plataforma? Este, fíjense que yo, este, mi trabajo los días jueves es administrativo. Este, todos los días jueves, pues me toca quedarme en la empresa, no salgo. Entonces yo ese día lo, eh, trato de revisar algunas clases que no me ha quedado muy claro. Y igual manera ya hago las tareas el día jueves. Ahí me dedico un tiempo después del almuerzo para, para realizarlo. Y tengo hasta la, la, la 3. Hoy sería la 4. Y haría de una sola vez el examen. Perfecto. Ok. Estamos entonces, okay, sí, sí. Raúl. Muchas gracias, teacher. Good night. Good night, Raúl. Bye. 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 Bye.